Hello, I'm Rachel Wade and welcome to All of Us. All of Us is a place for everyday women to share their stories of their everyday God moments and connect us to Christ. And today I have my good friend Prey Santos with me hey. and I'm so excited to be in her studio, uh, 85B Studio. Okay. Uh, if you could, Praise, could you introduce yourself to the All of Us community? Yeah, hey everybody, I am Praise. I've been a resident of San Francisco for eight years, but I'm originally from Florida. Um, yeah, I work primarily as a photographer and have a few other projects I do too. So cool. Uh, so tell us about your Jesus journey. How did you begin to know Jesus? I was fortunate to have believing parents. I was raised in the church and I was really good at doing church, but that's the thing. I was really big into rule following, so I didn't quite get it until I was about 16, 17, where mm -hmm. Jesus just wanted my heart. He wanted all of me. And so, um, that's when I kind of turned my life over to him and it's been a continual redeeming story of realizing like, oh, I don't have to continue earning it. His grace is enough. I am enough in his eyes and um, I lean on that mm -hmm. every day. And I feel like that's something I'm having to continuously <laughs> tell myself like, you're enough. Um, and many of us, right? Like totally. always having to remind ourselves that his grace and mercy, we don't have to earn it and his love and so good. Mm -hmm. So praise, you know, I've always admired you even before we became friends. Um, I'd be like, that's a girl with like six different gifts, <laughs> beautiful and a model, an actress. Um, I heard she's got a photography studio, just a creative, an all around creative. And so I've just, I've loved all that. And I could talk to you about a million different things today. Um, but the thing that I really wanted the All of Us family to really get to know about you is something that you've created called Ethical Weddings. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about how that became a burden on your heart yeah. and what has transpired since then. Okay, great. Well, first, thank you for the kind words. I do appreciate a good hype woman. It is true. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Ethical Weddings, I, again, as I said, I work primarily as a photographer and I was doing some photojournalistic work in Guatemala and working with a chocolate farmer and telling his story and he was saying that he works really hard because he wants to send his son to college um, so I took his part of his story and I came home back here to San Francisco and I was getting ready to photograph a wedding and it was really hard for me to get excited about mm -hmm. it because an average wedding in the United States costs between like thirty to forty thousand dollars and mm -hmm. so I'm telling one story of a guy who was just working really hard trying to send his son to yeah. college and this eight hour event that costs like four times the amount of yeah. someone's college in yeah. Guatemala. And so I just felt that divide and I knew there was a better way. And so now I've been working with um, couples and wedding vendors to use their wedding day to do good. And so resourcing them with ideas of how it can be socially impactful and environmentally friendly. And so things like ways that you can help Pedro is if you're going to buy chocolate for your guests or for a dessert, yeah. just buy fair trade chocolate because it gives him a fair wage. Gotcha. Or um, you can repurpose flowers at the end of the wedding day. Those bouquets go to a nursing home or to people who could use that beauty in their lives, things like that. Um, and that's basically what Ethical Weddings is. Oh, so cool. What an awesome idea. So much waste in the wedding industry. Totally. And, oh, as, as a Californian, I feel like we are all about like reusing and recycling and yeah. Yeah. This is good for our world and totally. so and good for people. Mm -hmm. uh, so thank you for creating that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so, you know, someone may hear your story and they'd be like, oh, well, clearly she's a go-getter. I mean, Rachel mentioned all of her wonderful <laughs> qualities and gifts. Uh, entrepreneur, like that's just in her. That's for people like praise. Mm -hmm. um, so for people that maybe don't see themselves the way that you see yourself, I mean, that would appear to you're very confident. Yeah. Um, but what would you say to those that are like, that's not me, you know, like she's the go-getter. Do you struggle with insecurity at all? Oh, totally. So, I mean, the feeling of not having enough and not being enough, uh, we call that imposter syndrome, right? Mm, like, yes. how could I actually go about doing this thing? Because what I really am doing, trying to change the cultural view of what a wedding could be and that yeah. Something like that, like just takes a while. Who am I to do that? Mm -hmm. um, and so I definitely struggle with things like that. Like, who am I to even do this? I remember I was so anxious thinking about ethical weddings that it just paralyzed me and I kind mm -hmm. of froze and I was driving myself crazy, like just thinking of how to even start something like this. Mm -hmm. But I struggle with anxiety and with depression and even my feeling of enoughness has led to like disordered eating and body image issues and those are things now that I can be like you know I'm gonna own that those are the things mm. I struggle with um, but now I'm at a point where I'm aware of them and I know how to ask for help for them mm. too so good yeah. so so good um, so 
you know, there also could be a woman watching that could be in maybe three of these camps that she could be, okay, so I hear you praise. I've got the burden on my heart that God's given me, but I don't know what to do with it. Or they could be saying, um, well, this is my season of life. You know, I've got littles right now. Or I'm really busy at work. I'm traveling. How is it possible to even begin this new thing? Um, will it even make money? I need to make money. You know, like there's all these different camps that people could, you know, be in. Um, what tips do you have for a woman to just start? Yeah. Um, first, they should know that the world needs that idea that was mm -hmm. put on your mind. Um, but two, it might not actually, you starting it might not actually look like what you think it's going to look like too. Because mm -hmm. maybe it's not as front facing as uploading videos of great women's stories. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's actually a lot of research first and that's you starting it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's a lot of you supporting someone else who's already doing that and cheering them on or telling other people mm -hmm. about it. There's different ways to start it that might not be. Um, what you think it could be. Um, another thing that my mom has reminded me is that God will gift you the time mm -hmm. if you need the time to do it. He'll give you enough money or make that business make money if you wanted you to do it. Um, also, another quote she says is, the way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. So just little steps, yeah. just forward, forward movement. Right. And that also brings me to remember something that... Um, our pastor, Pastor Don always says that we have a part to play mm -hmm. and God has a part totally. to play. And so I'm sure that you've seen that in your, in that probably everything that you do to where it's like, okay, I got to be obedient with what I need to do. So it could be that research that you were talking about or talking to a friend that's maybe in the industry or, mm -hmm. or whatever. But then to also know that there's going to be stuff that you don't know. Um, but if God's given you the dream and the burden that he's going to be able to, to bring it all together. So totally. I love, I love you mentioning that. Um, and so community is a big part of, well, it is, this is what all of us is about bringing us all together as community. Um, how have you seen community shape ethical weddings and has that been a big part of you even getting started with ethical weddings? Yeah, with any new idea, especially when you have those insecure moments and insecure thoughts, you're going to need people to lean on. So having loved ones cheer me on, mm -hmm. um, even just cheering on can be like them resharing something that I'm sharing sure. on Facebook, you know, little things right. like that has been huge. Um, but also asking for help. So I've found a wedding planner in New York City and one in Vancouver who have the same heart and mission. And so collaborating with them on this project has been great. And so now we do a series of webinars to train other small businesses in the wedding and event industry of how to be socially impactful and environmentally friendly. Uh, and so that has helped a lot. Just easing that burden and the anxiety of it is when it's shared, it, it goes much further. So cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... Answer these statements for us. Okay. God is here. God's love for all of us is what makes us who we are. And all of us are better when we receive and when we give. Well, I want to thank you, Praise, for being on here today. Um, sorry, my voice. <clears throat> One of the things that I want to share is that all of us would not have happened without this girl's encouragement. And for just the love that she's given me and even the space of like, what is this, what is this dream going to look like? Um, she actually is doing exactly what she's sharing with all of you today. Um, she cheered me on and she helped me to make that next step and held me accountable. And so get you a friend doing like it. this. Doing <laughs> I don't know all the things, but uh, get you a friend like this that's going to encourage you in that dream and that burden that God has laid on your heart. Um, so thank I'm you. proud of you. Look at thank it's, you, it's becoming real. Can't believe it. <laughs> Best lighting in town. That's, that's, <laughs> it doesn't matter what we say, right? <laughs> uh, for more information on, on praise and her, the rest of her story, please visit us at allofus.net. That's O-L-I-V-E, us.net. And with that, we'll see you later. So, all right. Bye. Bye.